Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unix Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to hide your username in the login screen of a Windows computer. So, without any further more delay, let's begin. So, just let me press Win plus L to go to the log screen, right? And now, you can see your sign in, right? So here you can see my username, right? So I want to hide this username from the login screen that is which you can call a sign in screen also whatever you would like to call so this is a login screen so I want to hide this name so for this what you need to do just press win plus r on your computer keyboard to open the run program and in the run program you need to type this one name that is gpedit.msc just type this name and you can click on ok or hit enter now you can see the local group policy editor right so on the left side you can see here under just below the computer configurations as you can see here below just under this leveling you can see your windows settings just select it and just click on this left arrow and now just select the security options and once again click on this left arrow and now just select this folder name as local policy and once again click on this left arrow and just select this folder name as security options and now you will see a tons of options here right just scroll down below now here you can see uh, options name as interactive login log on so you can see your display username when the session is logged right just double up click it now you may see by default it may be like not defined or user defined whatever it may be shown so you can just click on this options and you can select your don't display user informations and click on apply click on ok so the first settings is done and next again what you need to do is you can see here interactive lock on don't display username at sign in so by default you may see like not defined or user defined whatever just double up click it and click on enable and click on apply click on ok so the our second settings is done and the final settings which we gonna do is you can see here one more option try to log on don't display last sign in right so just open it and just click on enable this too click on apply click on ok and after this three settings is done you can just close this local group policy editor and just click on your start and just click on restart so let us click on restart and we'll be back in a short minutes so finally we have restarted our computer so let us check out if our username in the login screen of our windows computer is being hidden or not so let me press win plus l to go to the lock screen now you can see here it's showing unlock the pc right so there is no more username is being shown here so you can see below there is a uh, options to type your username and password so kindly remember your username before trying these tricks because if you don't type the username you won't be able to log in here so i don't have a password set so if you have uh, set a password then you need to type both the username and password so in my case i have put just a username since i don't have any password being attached with my windows computer so i'll just type my username and i will just hit enter voila so using these cool tricks you can easily hide your username in the login screen of a windows computer very easily so if you want to disable it again just go back to the same options which I have shown you and just to the settings like which you have enabled just click on disable then just disable all those and the option which you have enabled do so do not display user information so you can just select user display name only and click on apply click on ok now you can close it and let us check back if our username is shown back or not so let me press win plus l to go to the log screen 
so now you can see it's moved back to the default settings so in my opinion it's a very cool tricks to hide your username in the login screen of your Windows computer so you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching